as we welcome you to Memphis as the Houston Roughnecks and the Memphis Showboats close out this UFL season. This game. Off the play fake on first down. Love to throw across his body, and he's got an open man down the 46-yard line as Vinny Papali, or rather Jonathan Adams, and it'll be a first down. But it's a Houston defense that has struggled to put pressure on quarterbacks this year. Love will use his feet, not much there. In fact, he'll lose about a half yard on the slide. Hey, Filippo. Let's see what they do here on second and 10. It's Victor with the carry, and Victor with a flag down. Personal foul, face mask, number 94, defense. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic, first down. That's Keontae Shad. And it's so difficult. As a defensive lineman, you're trying to be in your gap and then try to shed and get back to the ball carrier, and he's just reaching out for anything. He made Mark Thompson at 6'2", grabs him in the chest. Off the play fake, Love will dump it down to the tight end, J.J. Wilson, and Wilson down near the 21-yard line. Second down and five. Houston rushes five, good throw over the middle, and a first down. On first down at the 13. Here's Victor to the 10 as we listen in again on second down. Exactly, second down at seven. Love with protection, nobody open. Dancing around, flag is down, and Love will just throw this one away, and we'll see if that's a hold in the backfield. Got a foul, got a foul. We've got holding offense. Do they want it? Take it back? Hey, okay. Hey. What? Say what? Hey. Alert. Holding. holding. Number 73. Offense. And the play is basically a dissertation. Second and 17. Pressure comes. The ball is out. And it's scooped up by the big man. Rumbling forward is Alec Lindstrom, the center. When you leave somebody out on that outside rush, you see number 31 right there, Markel Roby gets a free run at the quarterback. Quarterback will at least get himself to a quick receiver. Third and 14 over the middle, it's Papali well short of the first down, and Memphis will likely bring the field goal unit on. 29 yards. And Memphis is on the board first with a 29-yard field goal from Matt Coughlin. Ball second in the UFL and catches and yards. Mark Thompson, the carry on first down. We'll see more Thompson tonight. So this is certainly an opportunity for this Houston offense. Second and three, quick toss. There's Justin Hall getting him involved in a first down. The last couple of weeks, they have been close in a lot of games. Against playoff teams each of the last few weeks. Here's Kirk Merritt down the sidelines, loping to the 35 and out of bounds. 18 yards on that pitch and catch. Looks to Merritt, now throws across the middle, and it's Hall bouncing off contact. Hall inside the 20, and down near the 15. Another first down for Houston. Back-to-back 18-yard -back gains, now from the 16-yard line, trying to find room up the middle, and a yard is all that Mark Thompson will find. Second down and nine. Henderson steps up, floats it for the end zone, and touchdown for Justin Hall. Well, the Typhoon right here is basically a wheel route. You see, you got a bit of a pick right there. Get away with it, by the way, because that was a kind of a clear contact by Kiki Chisholm. Probably could have drawn a flag, but nonetheless, you get the wheel route. It's wide open, and Hall is open. You could see in the back end, Quentin Meeks, number seven. He was the okay. one that was saying, hey, I got interfered with, and now Memphis is going to challenge I this play. On, on our DB, it's the seven. super challenge. It's a rub with contact. He knows what he's doing. It's a rub with contact. He knows and he what makes he's contact doing. at the and he makes contact 14. At the so he is beyond the line. And it, so it's a foul if it's beyond the line. It doesn't have to be more than a yard in the UFL, just beyond the line. So this is going to be offensive pass interference. So if we look at this, we were second and nine, just so you know, at the 15. So we're going to go back. 10 yards, and it's going to be second and 19 at the 25. Second and 19 at the 25. Here we go, man. Here we go. Number three. Thank you. Number three. After review, there was an offensive pass interference by number 14. It's a 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. It's second down. 
And a 15-yard touchdown. Now second and 19 back at the 25. And here comes pressure. Oh, Henderson is smacked. And the pass is incomplete. So now third and 19. Pressure again. Swing it out to Merritt. Merritt inside the 10. He's short of the first down. Fourth and two. Thompson, the carry, won't get there. Penetration by Lamont McFatter, and Memphis turns Houston away. Good fill from the linebacker spots, and then they take out his legs. That's a beautiful job. Lamont McFatter, he le leads the team in tackles. You can see why, and John Filippo is loving it. <laughs> He's got the super challenge that takes the points off the board. Sit it over the middle, and he connects with Emmanuel Butler, who stumbles down near the 35. And he seems right here. On first down from the 35. Sit it on the run. Sit it chugging for the edge, and Sit it gets twisted around as he goes out of bounds near the 35. To the top of the screen. Second down and 11. This will be Mark Thompson who gets the carry, and Thompson will lose a yard. Third and 12. Sit it with time, throws it short and it's intercepted. Up the sideline and out of bounds near midfield is Quentin Meeks with his second interception of the year. Right side, but watch they're trying to clear the defense out and then bring the slot player in behind the route. But the problem is the defense doesn't do anything but just squat in that area and he throws it right to Quentin Meeks who's had a heck of a game so far here early in this contest. Played his college ball at Stanford. Quentin Meeks is playing zone coverage, drops back, doesn't follow Chisholm down the field. He knows he's got safety help. Go through his process in the Army Command Center. It's very unique and very cool here in the UFL. Here's Sage Surratt, first catch for the showboat tight end, out of bounds at midfield. From midfield. This motion again gets the flip, and he's buried in the backfield. Outstanding defense. That's Christopher Allen. Love steps up into the pocket over the middle, and it's almost intercepted and complete. In one of the best, if not the best, in the UFL. Work it up the middle, ball jarred out with a big hit. Thompson coughed it up, and it's recovered by Houston. Braylon Jones so far tonight, and you can see Thompson is trying to get loose and then just an absolute smash. Lined him up like he was a fighter pilot. With the big hit to the sideline, another big hit as Emmanuel Butler hangs on. Back champions in the USFL, and he's back as the number one seed again this year. He will join us later on in this broadcast. And over the middle, it's Kirk Merritt. Merritt with some running room, a little breaking tackles, and Merritt still on the move inside the 25 and down to the 23. And this is a little move, and even with the defender trying to have inside leverage, he's able to run right past him. Malik Lawal cannot keep up with Merritt, who's got fresh legs. Remember, he's just back up. He's back. He's been gone since week two, so those legs are ready to go. He's filling in for the injured TJ Pledger. On first down and 10. Oh, Merritt again. Nice little spin. And Merritt down to the 14 yard line. Second down and one. Henderson going up top for the end zone. And it is Justin Hall cannot pull it in. So here comes the outside wide receiver. That's Kiki Chisholm. See how he tries to avoid the contact? So they don't quite get the separation. And then the ball is late and short. That ball has got to be up quicker and more to the back pylon. And then he can make a play. But as it was, I thought Hall had a chance. Probably should have hauled that one in as it hit him right in the stomach. So now third and one. Off the play fake, Henderson on the roll to the sideline. He's got the catch of the first down, Cyril Grayson. There he goes, on the sprint out, looking, and just has to throw this one to the back of the end zone, incomplete. Oh, I had the under, Kev. 25-yard try, and that will sneak in to tie this game up at three apiece. A lot of playmakers on the field as well. First down and 10 from midfield. Love over the middle finds Surratt. And a pickup of 15 to the 35-yard line. Third catch of the night. Moments just using your body and coming down with those contested catches. Crossing over the middle is Daywood Davis. And 
Boy, not much there after the catch. Give him four with progress to the 31. Third down and six. Well, good protection. Throws short over the middle. Catch is made by Darius Victor, short of the first down. White gets the hold down. Coglin's kick is on the way. It is good. One yard line. Here's Henderson. Oh, nice move. Henderson up the sideline and out of bounds at the Memphis 40. He idolized Joe Flacco, a Delaware product in his own right, but safe to say Joe Flacco didn't break off too many runs like that in his playing career. Uh, he was probably the best option for us, and so we've gone that way. Uh, I can't compliment Jamar Smith, who was our starter year one that went 11-1. and one. Fence Breeland speaks as a, a handful as a pass rusher. What do you need to do to win? You no, know, I mean, just like last week, we went a 20-19 to 19 football game, I think, to point. Skip Holtz, the head coach of the Birmingham Stallions. And, Coach, we so appreciate the time. It's like, hey, hey, bro, it's a first down. Yeah, after an 11-yard gain, Love with some late pressure, dumps it short. This is Titus Swen. Nice. And Swen with a good run after catch down inside the 44. Drag, so slant flat down here to the close side. There's the slant, overthrew it. Love looking. Stays alive, and it's dropped at the 37. There is a flag down in the secondary, though. Number nine, hold. Defensive holding. Is that on Holding. Number nine, defense. Five yard play from the previous spot. Automatic. First down. Love to the air over the middle, and he connects again. Inside receiver. Victor, there's a hole. Victor with a first down, spinning his way down near the 20 yard line. The double move. Gonna have to hurry, play clock at three. Love to the air, going up top, looking for the end zone, trying to drop it into the back corner. It's Daywood Davis, and it is a touchdown. There's a flag down as well. So that'll be 13 yards, right? Number nine, defense. That play is decline. It's also the play. It's a touchdown. So there's control. Now he needs two. He needs two. He's controlled the, the ball, and the first step is out. Pass, all right? So it's an incomplete pass. Second foot did not get on. So we got to go back to the interference. Where was the interference called? Oh, that's a four-yard line, Mike. After right. review is an incomplete pass. We will enforce the defensive pass interference by number nine. The ball we placed in the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Coming to run. Second and goal. Victor cuts it back. Look at the power driving in for his third rushing touchdown of the year. He sees the hole back on the right side. There it is, there's the vision, and then he knows that there's always gonna be one unblocked player in the short yardage, whether it's fourth and one. Love, looking for two. A flag is down as Sage Surratt catches the two-point try, but it may be offensive pass interference. OPI number 83. Got creating separation. Pass interference, number 83, offense. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. We will replay the try. Let's take a look. Yeah, you definitely can't do that. It's Daywood Davis. A little stutter step of the five, and he'll be stopped short of the goal line, shoved out of bounds. The two point try. I'm with him. My last name's Butt, so I can get behind. We can complete the full lower body movement there. Thanks, Darius. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Put your money on some new pants. That's, a, that's true. Second down at 13. Oh, Henderson to the air, and a nice catch is made by Cyril Grayson for the first down. Pants are a little ripped. I got a job to do. That's so good. It's so good. Here's Henderson, the sprint out and the swing to Justin Hall, and Hall steps through a tackle and out of bounds at the 44. Then touches. Off the play fake, rumbling free is Brandon Bowman. Professionalism, I didn't even know what had happened. 
Big hole for Kirk Merritt up the middle. First and goal from the eight yard line. Go in. Kiki Chisholm. Chisholm down the sideline and stopped at the one. Ball off the face. And he pushes Merritt forward. And Merritt's got the rushing touchdown. This is easy. If you get the running back right there and the defensive end closes, then the quarterback walks in. But the defensive end stayed outside. He sat there. And so Henderson alertly gives it to Merritt, shoves him in, and it's a touchdown for the Roughnecks. And then once you get the ball down the field, those slants have been open. Over the middle starts it to Victor. And Victor to the 45-yard line. Second and four, oh, it's good batted defense. down at the line. Third and four, and we had movement on the left side of the line. All right, a false start, 73. False start, number 73, offense. Five air penalty, it's still third down. We've seen this Memphis offense get into a nice rhythm today. Third and nine to the sideline, deflected and intercepted. It's Markel Roby, his third pick of the year. Roby down the sideline. Roby all the way for a Houston touchdown. You've got, you've got hold or block in the back? You got a hold? Okay. You don't have a number. Spot is good. Okay, during the return, during holding the return. on the receiving team. Correct. Or the intercepting team. Okay. All right, so we're going to go 10 yards from that. We first down Houston. During the return, holding, intercepting team. It's a 10 yard penalty. It's first down, Houston. Me Moreland has excellent coverage. And look, he's got his eyes in the backfield. He's not even covering the wide receiver, he's just reading the quarterback. And Josh Love telegraphs that pass. And Moreland does a great job of standing his ground covering that ball, and then there's Roby, who's able to get the tip. Tips and overthrows, they're a safety's best friend. There's the tip ball. Roby is there to come on in. He rolls over it, gets up. 15 minutes to play here in Memphis. Henderson off the play fake, finds Justin Hall, and Hall spinning out of contact. He's got a first down. First down and 10 at the 35. Off the play fake. This is Anthony Ratliff Williams, and Williams picks up five to the 30-yard line. They come down to execution. These two teams met in game one. They lost that one 18 to 12 to Houston. Here's Hall on the end around. He's got a first down. Second down and 10. Anderson steps away from pressure, throws it short to Merritt. Excellent open field tackle by Anthony Butler. Stymie Houston tonight. On third and nine, pressure coming. Henderson throws, deflected, and almost intercepted. The night just to watch him on the sidelines. 39-yard try to tie. And it is good, and we are all tied up at 12. After the 2025 season. Over the middle, catch is made. Vinny Papali bouncing to the edge. He's got a first down and more out of bounds inside the 35 of Houston. In particular, a holding call. First to 20. Love will try to get some of it back with his legs. Dives across the 40 and down near the 39-yard line. Some way of identifying and sliding the line. Love with good protection to the sideline. Finds Adams with a flag down. First down and 10. Love complete to Papali and down to the 19-yard line. Second and six. There's that run. Big hole. Victor into the secondary, barreling his way down inside the five. It's first and goal, Memphis. Third and goal. It's Victor plowing for the touchdown. This is just power running right here. Extra offensive lineman in, contact behind the goal line, and he just keeps his legs churning in success. Yeah, Joe, it, that's... And on third and one, Merritt the carry, and Merritt, I believe, got there with that first effort. He was driven back, but by the spot, it's going to be the first down. Number 11's got to be the focal point. Here he is. And there he is. 
It's the toss, and Hall fights his way down to the 46 of Memphis. Five to go. From the 46, Henderson in trouble. Henderson going down. Four-man rush. Henderson to the sideline. What a catch. Anthony Ratliff-Williams one-on-one with Delek Abrams. Watching with us. Excited about that throw from his son. Handoff. Mark Thompson. Eight to go in the pistol with Thompson, the running back. Mark Thompson, the carry. He's buried. Back at the 29. Third and 10. Henderson with time over the middle. Incomplete. He wanted Ratliff-Williams. Downs, you just saw it on third down. That's man coverage. Abrams is able to get there, but gets away with a little bit of a grab as Ratliff Williams cannot get across the middle. He wants a flag. He's going to challenge it. Oh, no, there's the super challenge. Hey, you heard that? 21 grabs him around the waist. And then it really takes a step away, which keeps him there of getting to the pass. So I'm ruling in favor of the challenge here because it does take the step away. So it's going to be interference. I got to look for the actual spot here. Ball was snapped at the 31. It is going to be a spot foul at the 20. So it's going to be first and yep. 10 at the 20-yard line. Gotcha. After view, pass interference, number 21, defense. The ball he placed in the spot of the foul. foul. It's first down. Ocean on first and 10. Henderson pressured on the roll. Henderson will just start up the sidelines. He gets a yard on that pressure. 106 to go. Second and eight. Henderson to the air, and it's caught by Ratliff Williams, but inbounds. Clock will run, and it's third down. Third three. Play fake. Finds Hall. What a tackle. And he sees Hall, and he just breaks right away. And he's there. As Hall catches the ball, McFadder is there, and he wraps him up and takes him to the ground. Beautiful job defensively there from Memphis. Low snap. Henderson tipped at the line. Incomplete. Memphis can run it out. 12, 12, 12, 12. Good job, good job, good job. Memphis sent the house. They pressured Houston here. The snap was not the best. And Nolan Henderson had to reach down for this snap, and he just could not get the ball into the end zone like he wanted to. There's the low snap, there's the pressure, and then the tip at the line of scrimmage. Tyshun Render got a hand on it, and that was enough to turn Houston away and lock up the number one overall pick for the Memphis Showboats in the 2025 UFL Draft. And the Showboats are gonna end an eight game losing streak. They beat Houston 18 to 12 in the opener. They lost their next eight and they're gonna win 19-12 to close the season tonight. I just love seeing the effort from both teams, both teams laying it on the line. All these guys that love this sport, getting the opportunity to play it at a high level. Memphis, two stops on fourth down all season. Guys, two of them tonight against Houston for the win. And Josh Love, in his first start of the season, gets a win. Man, that's got to be a good feeling for Memphis. And I know heartbreak on that Houston side. Now that is four straight games that they are going to lose by one possession. Three to San Antonio, seven to Birmingham, four to Michigan, and here seven to Memphis to close it out. But isn't it fitting, Joel, in a season that has provided us close game after close game, we end the regular season with another one-score game as the Memphis Showboats lock up the first pick in the 2025 draft and the first pick in every subsequent round of that same draft.